Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Right here we've got the Armada Declivity 108 Ti. Um, great ski. You know, this is kind of the widest ski in the Declivity line before you get to the X, but the X doesn't share exactly the same properties from construction as the 82, 92, 102, and 108. So I like to kind of think of this as a the widest ski in a sub-collection of a bigger collection which maybe is more confusing than it needs to be. Um, but this is it, this is the Declivity 108 Ti. Um, fantastic ski. To, to me, it really sits pretty squarely in the free ride category. And unlike a lot of skis that Armada makes, it's really more of a directional free ride ski than anything else. Not really something that you wanna land switch on, you know, if you're looking to do tricks in the backcountry, stuff like that, you'd be better off on the ARV 106 or the, the JJ. Um, this ski, on the other hand, is designed more for pretty aggressive skiers, skiers that like to ski fast uh, and take pretty direct lines down the fall line and don't mind what gets in front of them. And they want a ski that, that feels the same way. It just doesn't care what you're, what you're going to point it through. Um, like I said, it has the same recipe as all those narrower declivity skis. So we get a Karuba wood core. Um, pretty cool construction method because that's a relatively lightweight wood core. And then we get articulated titanal banding in this ski. So traditional metal laminates, but in the top layer of metal, we get these longitudinal slits, just kind of cut right into the metal of the ski. That is designed to actually take away torsional stiffness and allow the ski to kind of twist or articulate more in the forebody of the ski. So despite being a big, strong, powerful ski, you get kind of more of a supple feel out of, a t out of the tip, more of a user-friendly feel upon turn initiation, um, which I think is really cool. I think it works great in the narrower skis. I think it works well in the wider skis also. Um, my scale just shut itself off here, but I do think, you know, this is a 190 centimeter length and it's pretty wide and we got a bunch of metal in here. So you might be thinking like, that thing's gonna be real heavy comes in at 20 or 2,030 grams. So it's over the 2,000 threshold for weight, but <clears throat> excuse me, you're not really gonna find much in this range, in this length and width with metal that's any lighter than that. So pretty impressive that Armada can keep the weight down to a minimum in my opinion. Now the, the declivity line kinda, the way it works is as you get wider, you get more and more rocker. So now that we're up here into the 108, boy, we get quite a lot of tip rocker up there. You know, that's a, that's, that's a lot of rocker in, in the tip of a ski. You know, really kind of giving the indication that this ski is meant for some soft snow use, and it certainly, certainly is. Same is true in the tail. You know, if we looked at narrower declivity skis, like the 82 or, or the 92 even, you're, you're gonna see about twice as much tail rocker by length in this ski compared to those skis. Now there's not a tremendous amount of splay back here, it's not a twin tip, but adding a little bit longer tail rocker into the ski does change its feel compared to some of the narrower skis. Now, what is that feel? Um, I think in the 108, it's a pretty similar conversation to the Declivity 102. Uh, it, it has plenty and plenty of strength. You know, it's not lacking any strength whatsoever. All the testers we had on it this year, they all came back with like five out of five stability scores, kind of an, an unflinching attitude when you're skiing this thing. It just, like I said, it doesn't matter what you point it towards for snow conditions. It'll just track right through a bunch of firm, choppy snow. Really anything you point it towards it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get kicked around. It's not gonna get deflected. There's a lot of strength in it. So high speed, big mountain skiing. If you just wanna open it up and see how fast you can ski down a face, um, this is a, a fantastic ski. And I think that's a great way to think about its performance. With the amount of rocker, however, you do get a little bit easier edge release than some of these kind of big mountain, lots of metal skis. You know, I really, I think there's a benefit to having as much tail rocker as it does. Again, it's not, there's not a lot. There are skis where the tail rocker starts like way up here, where on this ski, it's way back here. 
So it's not a tremendous amount of tail rocker, but it's enough. It's enough to give you the ability to kind of flick the ski sideways, which really comes in handy if you're skiing kind of technical big mountain terrain. You know, chances are you're gonna get going really fast at some point, and when you're skiing really fast, eventually you're gonna wanna slow down. Um, and I think the Declivity 108 really lets you do that pretty easily. You know, it, it lets you release that edge and get the ski sideways. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't punish you while doing so. Where some skis, when you get up this wide, this long, you know, this ski only comes in a 182 or a 190, this wide, this long, this much metal can feel kind of locked into a turn, which can get a little bit scary or, or at least nervous at times. Um, I think this has an excellent blend of feeling strong and powerful, but doesn't lock you into that turn. It, it gives you all the control that you need as a skier to feel, uh, well, in control and, and confident. Um, so a great ski. You know, I think, I think there is a limitation to who really should be skiing this. Um, you know, I spoke quite a bit there about its user-friendly side, but... Realistically, it's still a pretty demanding ski, just in the fact that it's big and wide and has metal in it. So intermediates might be better off on something without metal, maybe like an ARV 106, something like that. Um, you probably just aren't hitting the speeds where the performance of this ski is gonna benefit you. On the other hand, it could be more of a hindrance if you're not an aggressive skier. Um, but boy, move up to that advanced expert level category of skiers that like to ski fast, powerfully, really know what they're doing out there. This thing's an, an absolute weapon for a big mountain. Uh, maybe a little overkill here in Stowe. You know, sometimes we'll have a day or two where, where skiing something like this is fun. I more think of the, the best application for this ski as a, as a Western skier. Um, unless you're like a bigger guy here in Vermont that wants a strong powder ski, I think it could it could fill that role pretty well too. Um, so that's it. That's the Declivity 108 Ti from Armada. Excuse me. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you out there on the hill.